Hello, beloved. Life is a journey. That is why it's good to have someone who will be the mouthpiece of God to bring you the word of God any moment in your life. Because the word of God tells us that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh from the Lord. So what this means is that we live in our dependence is not dependent on what we are getting on earth. Our dependence shouldn't be on what we are trying to achieve to prove to people that this is what we've been able to, to achieve. No. But our sole dependence should be on the very word, the rima of God. Because the Bible tells us that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And then the word was God. And the Bible says that and nothing was made without the word. Even the Bible continued to, to further explain in the book of Genesis that it is from the spoken word of God that the universe and everything was created. So it means that man has to value the word of God even more than anything he can, he can value on this earth. But it's unfortunate that we turn, we turn the word of God down and we begin to value what, you, what is not supposed to be valued. And that is the, 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 the fall of mankind. That is the fall of our lives. But if this, this, this moment, uh, as you hear the sound of my voice, because the Bible says in that day they will hear his voice and those who are in the grave do, do, do rise up. It means that there is going to be a time whereby the word of God is going to quicken, is going to bring up people who have been who have been camped in the world of darkness, who have been camped in, in demonic places, who have been camped in, 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 in dangerous situations in life. And the word of God is going to bring them out. And that, 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 that is why God has put in my heart that I should, I should. I should, I should do this because he told me that. Do you know something? Maybe somebody is somewhere who needs this word that you always hear it, but you, you think you want, everybody knows about it. But there's somebody who is waiting, waiting to hear a word from God that can change his or her life. But because that person has not gotten that opportunity, that person is going to lose his or her life. He's going to lose his or her salvation. And that is why God is putting in my heart that anywhere I found myself, the word of God that was used to create everything, that was used to to create the universe that was used to create everything in this world. That word of God should be preached because he already told us, he told the disciples that, do you know something? I am sending you guys into the world to preach and to baptize in my name. And anybody who believes, they indeed become true fellows, true disciples of Jesus. And beloved, we need to realize that we are all on a journey in life. But it's unfortunate that we are all taking certain um, routes that are not according to the, to the right pressure, the right foundation, the right layout, laid down by God. And because of that, God is raising kingdom Kingdom fighters, kingdom preachers, kingdom, kingdom, I mean, kingdom, 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 
to make sure the word is preached to everywhere. Everywhere will receive the word. Even, even the Bible tells us that even when Jesus died, he has to go to hell. And even in hell, the word of God was preached by Jesus and he even saved people from hell. It means that no matter where you are, you need the word of God to come and change your life. You need the word of God to come and transform your life because it gets to a point in life that Nothing can matter except there is a spoken word directly from God. And that is why this morning, in this afternoon, this evening, whatever you are hearing me at the sound of my God, I am coming your way to proclaim God's liberty because Jesus Christ said in the temple, Oh, he said, in the name of Jesus, he said, I am, I am, I am, I am anointed to preach the gospel. Acceptable time of the year to those who are 